this is a quite old uh, Mass Olympiad question from many years ago, um, but it is still very good. And it looks like a geometry problem, but it's actually an algebra problem. It's um, we are given a rectangle, right? We are given a rectangle, and um, the area of the three triangles inside of it is three, four, and five. So this area is three. This area of the rectangular triangle is uh, four, and this area of the rectangular triangle is five. And we need to figure out what's going to be the area of the triangle in the middle, right? So, what's going to be the strategy for solving this problem, right? So, um, if we can figure out what's going to be the area of the entire rectangle, then all we have to do is to subtract. 3, 4, and 5 from the area of the rectangle, and then the remaining area is going to be the area of the, the shaded triangle, right? So, so how do we evaluate the area of the rectangle, right? So suppose suppose this side length is A, and this side length is going to be B, right? And then the area of the rectangle is going to be A times B, right? Um, but how do we actually solve for A and B, right? So now we have to use the the, the 3, 4, and 5, the area of the three triangles uh, in the corners, right? So, so if, if this length is A, and this area is 5, the area of this triangle is 5, then what's going to be the side length of this side, right, of this, um, of this edge, right? Suppose it's, uh, suppose it's uh, X, right? So what's going to be X, right? What's going to be X? So, so A, X times a divided by two is going to equal to uh, is going to equal to x times a divided by five. Uh, divided by two is going to be equal to five. The area of this triangle, right? This is the base. This is the height, right? X times a. so x is going to equal to uh, x is going to equal to ten divided by a, right? So this length is going to be ten divided by a. And then let's look at this triangle with the area of four, right? Suppose this uh, this side length is y, right? And then Let's look at uh, the area of this triangle. It's going to be, if the base is B, then height is Y, right? So B times Y divided by 2 is going to equal to uh, 4, right? So Y is going to equal to 8 divided by B, right? It's going to be 8 divided by B. So that's going to be Y, right? Um, so what's going to be what's going to be this length, right? We know X already. X is uh, 10 over A, right? So, so what's going to be this side? What's, what's going to be this side length, right? It's going to be b, b subtract x, right? b subtract x is what? That's b subtract x is 10 divided by a, right? That's this end, this length. And then what's going to be this length? The le this length is going to be 10, uh, it's going to be a subtract y, right? a subtract y, y is what? a divided by b. So it's going to be a subtract y, y a divided by b, right? So now we have this edge and this edge. Can we evaluate the length, the area of this triangle, which is three? So it's a subtract a divided by b. That's the height times the base. Uh, that's the base times the height. That's b subtract ten over a, and then the whole thing divided by two. Is going to equal to uh, the area of this triangle, right? That's going to be three. So what we're going to get is a subtract eight over b times b subtract ten over a is going to equal to six, right? And then we can expand now. So t a times b, right? A times b, and then a times minus ten over a. That's minus ten, right? And then Minus a over b times b. That's minus a, right? And then minus a over b times minus ten over a. That's going to be plus eighty over a b, right? That's the whole thing is going to equal to six, right? So we know that a, a times b is s, right? That's the area of the square. So so a times b is going to be s. So we can replace this with s, right? Subtract. Uh, that's going to be minus 10, minus 8, that's minus 18, right? Minus 18, minus 6, that's minus 24. Plus 80 times S equals to 0, 
right? And then if we multiply s, we get s squared subtract 24s plus 80 equals to 0. Right. And at this point, we can factor. We can factor this uh, expression. We get s subtract 20 times s subtract 4 equals to 0. So we get two solutions. One is s equals to 4. The other one is s equals to 20. But we know that s is not going to be equal to 4 because s is the area of the rectangle, which is uh, much bigger than the area of this triangle 4. Right? So s has to equal to 20. But don't forget, the purpose is not to solve for the area of the rectangle, right? It's to solve for the area in the middle, uh, of the triangle in the middle, right? So we have to use s equals 20, subtract 3, subtract 4, and subtract 5, right? So, so, so it's going to be 20, subtract 3, subtract 4, and subtract 5. And that's equal to, well, it's going to equal to 8, 8, right? So 8 is our solution, the area in the middle of the triangle, right? It's going to be 8.